To sum up the videos on bounded functions, let us quickly have another example to try to understand what exactly do we mean. Now, in the example of ex, what we had? We had that the function was bounded below by uh, 0. That was because the range was bounded below by 0, right? We were only talking about the positive axis. So, we had, uh, you know, a lower bound here, 0 y had a lower bound here 0 okay now here is another another example let us take an example of uh, say a function fx equals to 2 minus 1 by x okay 2 minus 1 by x so what sort of a function is this what is the domain of this function the domain can be the domain, let us take domain as r plus, okay, and range minus infinity to 2, range will be minus infinity to 2. So, domain I am taking as 0 to infinity and range as minus infinity to 2 okay not including 0 of course it's an open interval not including 0 specifically because if we include 0 this function will not be defined okay it's 2 minus 1 by x now this function again will be unbounded now this function again will be unbounded for what reason for a simple reason that it is bounded above. Look at the range. The range is minus infinity to 2. It is bounded above. You have a parallel line above on the y-axis, but it is not bounded below. It is not bounded below. Below, it is moving and moving to minus infinity. So, therefore, it is unbounded because it is bounded above but not bounded below. So that wraps up our, uh, you know, bounded functions. In the next few videos, we'll be talking about some other properties of supremum and infimum.